Tucked in next to I-295, just off the Preble Street extension, is an oasis of color and natural beauty. Well known to joggers and bikers, the yardscaping garden of Back Cove is alive with over 2,000 trees, shrubs, and perennials that are not only beautiful to look at, but can also help you learn to manage your own gardens better. Gary Fish is the coordinator of the Maine Yardscaping Partnership. Well, this is the Yardscaping Gardens at Back Cove. Uh, they are a demonstration project that was put in by the Maine Yardscaping Partnership, which is a public-private partnership that includes uh, both government as well as uh, local garden centers and, and nonprofits. And these gardens are here to demonstrate low-maintenance plants that help the grower to reduce their reliance on fertilizer, pesticides, and water. They're here to show homeowners that they can come and look at the palette of plants here and bring those home to their own gardens and plant them. And they should have real good results, especially if they have sunny yards. We don't really have any shade plants here. And the plants were pretty much mostly locally sourced, so you can get them from places like O'Donnell's Nursery or uh, Pearson's Nursery. And this is a, a demonstration garden which was conceived back in about 2003. Uh, the groundbreaking was in 2006, and new trails were put in here at the Back Cove in 2007. The first plantings happened in 2008, 2009, and 2010. And now that the plants are established, uh, we have wonderful volunteers from the, the Master Gardeners from the University of Maine Cooperative Extension, as well as uh, from Mechanical Services and Key Bank and Hannaford. And we're always looking for new folks to come out and, and volunteer here to help maintain the gardens because the city can't do it. We knew from the beginning that they weren't going to maintain this area. Uh, they were very uh, generous to give us such a beautiful area with a lot of traffic to, to put this demonstration garden in. And it's also meant to be an educational site. Uh, we do have educational signs that help to show what the, the message is here. And there are also the full listing of plants is available on the Yardscaping website. And in the future, we're going to have an online tour that people can use their smartphones to be able to look at individual plant beds and know the plants and why we chose them. And if people want more information or be, want to volunteer, where can they go for information? If they want more information, they can go to yardscaping.org and uh, click on the, the garden uh, picture and it will bring you right to all the information about the gardens.